Hey guys, how's it going? Azure Collections here, and today we're looking at another KO figure. This is the Legends Collection a Joker action figure from AliExpress. So this Joker is a direct ripoff of the 2017 release of the Joker from Mezco Toys. So that was the official version of this figure. So this figure is basically a copy of that figure. I think they've got most things uh, right. They've got the accessories, which we'll go through later. They've got the two heads. The painting on it obviously is uh, lower quality. And also the body is lower quality as well. And the fabrics on it, uh, although they look good, they're not exactly the same quality as Mezco. So there's a lot of less that you're getting in this figure, but you're still getting it at a really good price. And I think for around 50 bucks, uh, 50 Australian dollars, you're getting quite a lot in this figure. So uh, I just wanted to break this down for you guys so that if you're buying this, you know exactly what you're getting. And also if you buy a, a, a listing on eBay or something, like that and you end up getting this figure you know that it's a ko version and not like the authentic version so you're not i guess duped into buying the wrong thing so let's kick things off with the box and in classic ko fashion the boxes from china they don't come they don't show up like in good condition so uh in the front of the box you just get like a open kind of uh window packaging so that you can see what's inside uh, the back has like a pretty cool picture of the official mezco joker this is not the KO version because the paint app on it is a lot better. But yeah, I think the packaging is alright. It's just, it looks alright. It's got the Legend Creation branding on top. And obviously the packaging also comes with the sleeve. And the sleeve's pretty cool actually. Uh, so you get the Joker with a heart, uh, you know, like a green and purple deco going on as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, Legend Collection all the way up top here. And also up top here. And on the back, we just get the official Mezco imaging, which is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, I mean, all of these photos were used for the Mezco promo and they look pretty cool. But yeah, it's not the figure that that comes within the box. So. so taking a look at the figure itself, there are a few things that I absolutely love. And there are a few things that I do not like at all about this figure. So let's take a closer look. And autofocus, there we go. So the face is more yellow than white, which kind of is off-putting. It's like his makeup is coming off and looks really grimy, dirty, like he's been thrown around in the sewer or something like that. But his hair looks perfectly slicked back, <laughs> which is weird. And it's kind of got that dirty green on it, which doesn't look nice at all. The eyes look wonky. The eyebrows look very menacing. The teeth, very grimacy very grinning and yeah i should mention this is not the head that comes with the uh, in the packaging i've actually swapped it over i don't know why but yeah i'll be just starting with this head so uh the collar um all right let's just look at the coat first and then we'll go into the nitty-gritty but the coat in itself looks all right um it's been folded over a little bit but that's just fabric i mean fabric does that but the coat is pretty pretty decent i think and the fabric used for it is also pretty nice I'll just quickly try to take the coat off on screen. I'll just have to take the fists out. And that was painless. So yeah, uh, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, the shirt never tucks in properly, which sucks. Uh, the hands are pretty easy to swap, which is pretty awesome. So we'll get that covered off as well in this review. Um, so the shirt inside looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a good like uh, purple uh, pinstripe going on in the shirt. But you can't really tuck the shirt into the pants. So yeah, I've had trouble just trying to... I was trying to make it look a little bit better in terms of for the review. Just make him, making him look a little bit better. But yeah, it didn't work out. The waistcoat actually looks pretty cool. But it's, it's folded over here. So that's a little weird. The collar is way too huge. The neck is way too sunk in. The face is yellow, the arms are more white, which is what is more accurate, uh, you know, with Joker. The pants are a little bit baggy and a little bit, I don't know, they're, they're, uh, they've got like a really long hem. Uh, it's not a hem, I don't know what that's called, but they've got a really, uh, they've got a really high waist is what I should say. But then if you take it high waisted, if you, if you place it like, you know, if you take it higher, it just looks weird because you can, the angle... Uh, part shows and he's got the bat socks in there but it's not actually socks it's just painted on and yeah the shoes look pretty cool i guess 
So all in all, the fabric is a little bit lacking, uh, but the actual Mezco figure also had pants that were similar. But yeah, all in all, for the price of the figure, you're getting a lot because even if you buy like um, KO clothing or just, just third party clothing, they do cost up to like 60, 70 bucks, which is more than this figure and, and the accessories and the clothing. So, you know, you've got that. So for this next section, we'll leave the coat off, but we'll basically look at the articulation for the Joker. The head is on like a really long kind of peg that Mezco does as well. I'll just try to get the head off so that you can see. Oh, wow, that's pretty strong in there. Yeah, so it's just that really long peg that Mezco uses for these necked um, figures. So that's pretty cool. I'll just press him in. Yeah, so it stays on pretty well. It's easy enough to swap and it gives you like a good range of motion. Uh, you can turn, but the neck turns with it, which is all right. He can pivot. He can look up and down. So it's decent movement. Uh, in terms of the shoulder, the shoulders can go out about that much. So that's the max that I can take it. Uh, he can go forward almost all the way go back as well a uh, single joint in the elbow which can crunch up that much uh, the wrist has a ball peg in there so basically you can do everything that you'd want to and the elbows also twist so that's pretty cool uh, in terms of articulation in the torso you've got a joint here that crunches back and forth so that's how far forward he can go that's how far back he can go and there should be another articulation up here but it's really hard to trigger I can just move it that much so it just gives you a little bit of twist but nothing too much in terms of the hips they can oh wow that's pretty okay so the fabric does get in the way but he can kick out that much so this joker is not athletic at all he can kick forward that much which is pretty decent he can kick back that much so you can get like good walking poses out of him uh, double joint in the knees and yeah the pants like in like real pants would uh, definitely rise up so double joint in the knees and they crunch up pretty well uh, so he, he could actually touch his own butt with his leg which is pretty cool um, there's a thigh swivel yes there is a thigh swivel and the boots can go up and down and they're the boots pretty all right they, they can go up and down they can priv pivot pretty well that's the pivot and they can turn so that's pretty decent range of motion for this guy so now that we've got joker's articulation out of the way joker does come with a bunch of accessories and the first thing we're looking at is this additional head so the head like the other one so this was the actual one that came with the figure and just like the other one the hair is painted horribly the white is not white. I don't know. It's just really off-white. It's very off-putting. The ears look like they're mushed in. And the paint on the ears, there's just a lot of bleeding going on. There's a big seam line running right across. So that's where uh, they've cast the figure. Doesn't look nice. Uh, the teeth and the, the, the tongue and the lips, they're actually all right, to be honest. But the eyes look really wonky. Like one eyeball is bigger than the other. Not the eyeball, but, you know, like the iris. So there's a lot of inconsistencies. But I think if you do better paint on it, it might look nice. So uh, I've been getting into painting a few uh, action figure heads recently. So, yeah, maybe I'll paint this up and then make it look a little bit better. But out of the box, not the best thing. Definitely needs work. So in terms of additional hands, Joker does not come with much. He gets three additional hands and he's got... Uh, one hand for the left and two hands for the right. Uh, these are additional. Uh, he does come with two fist hands on the figure itself. So the one on the left is just an open, like, splay it out kind of hand. And the sculpting on it is pretty good, but that's just because it's copied off of the official Mezco figure. And the paint is just, like, uh, plain purple, but there is a little bit of a messy kind of paint or whatever. That, that's, like, kind of splotchy thing going on. But the hands are pretty alright. Uh, the other one uh, is a hand that's holding a card up. So just for cool poses, uh, it would look pretty alright. Uh, the Joker decal here and the Joker text is pretty legible for something that small. 
So I'm pretty impressed, but the card is pretty thick. Uh, but you'd need something that thick to hold its uh, shape. The gloves are done alright. The paint on it is alright. But there's like a lot of excess plastic all over the gloves. So that's something that's not the best. But all in all, I think it's done alright. Uh, and I don't know why, for some reason, the Joker face again, the card face is yellow. Yellowish. So I don't know what that is. And last but not least, you get a trigger finger which is for uh, a, a pistol accessory that we're going to look at later but it's done pretty well there's a little bit of excess plastic but it's it's a Q figure so it does a job so in terms of other accessories or weapons we shall say uh, joker does come with a long pistol which looks all right uh the paint is pretty horrible it's just a very like uh dirty kind of gray doesn't look like a gunmetal kind of gray at all I might give it a repaint, but at the moment, I feel like everything needs a repaint. And um, the gun hilt is purple, which is pretty cool. But it's like really rubbish kind of faded away purple. And just to put the gun in the hand, the hand is pretty pliable, so the gun fits right in. But And that's going for it, so that's pretty cool. So the gun looks pretty cool in the hand, and the hand holds it pretty well. We also have a wind-up uh, joker tooth kind of thing with little feet that are pretty cool. So I like the feet. The sculpting on this is pretty good. The painting can be better, but it looks like something that's been thrown on the ground that's a little bit rough. So maybe it works for that, but even then, it's not, not the best painting. But for what it is, it's, it's pretty good. Last but not least, joker comes with a base, and the base is pretty cool because uh, that uh, whatever the haha -ha is made of is textured on so it looks like something that's stuck on to uh, the plastic bottom which is purple and the haha -ha is green which is pretty cool i really like that also comes with a stand or an arm uh, that you could uh, suspend joker off of and also comes with the baggie so yeah that's the final bit of the accessories there so next up i've got a quick section for the customizers out there uh, this is a mix max body with like a custom suit from gps lot on ebay so the joker head basically fits right in and also the uh, arms pop right in. So if you wanted to do like a conversion where you're turning this joker who is a little bit shorter into this guy who's a little bit taller, you can absolutely do that. All you need is a mix max body and mix max bodies also come in white. Uh, I am not affiliated to them at all, but I just dig the bodies and I am getting a lot into customizing. So I think it's worth picking up like mix max bodies just to... Do some jokers as well and just as a bonus bonus this is what the body looks like uh without the clothing so yeah pretty scrawny kind of uh, lanky looking fella but yeah it works well for that custom so for all the ko enthusiasts out there here's a quick comparison between two ko jokers so on the left we've got the ko clown prince of crime so absolutely no mods done to it except for the belt is a little bit lower and i've extended it to be a little bit longer so it uh, stays in place but no other mods done to that figure here but uh, this figure also is vanilla in terms of that's how it came in the box so i think bang for your buck def this definitely this one is uh like better in terms of it has more accessories it comes with the cane uh the uzi or whatever machine gun that is the teddy bear and a few other things and this one does not have that much but if you want like a classic looking joker that's the one definitely to go with but the paint obviously on that is a little bit better because it's more white it's more joker on the right that looks a little bit more pale the a more a little bit more yellow so yeah just wanted to give you like a quick overview of what the what the two jokers look like and if you just want to buy one ko figure i'd still say that that's probably the one you want to go with because of the accessories and the stuff that it comes with and he does look a little bit cleaner but this one looks more classic so up to you so in terms of height comparison this is what the joker looks like next to a few other mezco uh, authentic products so on the extreme left there we've got deathstroke uh, right next to him we've got the supreme knight batman with custom trunks uh, right next to joker we've got the uh, mezco harley quinn which is one of the newer releases um, i've also got the mezco harley quinn px exclusive i forget what the full title is for that one punk looking uh, harley on on her way as well and on the extreme right there we've got the superman custom that i'm working on so that's one of the newly uh, painted heads that i've been working on so custom head totally painted by me um kind of proud still need work but 
you know, that's that's just the initial phases of what is to be a uh, Red Sun Superman. So I think he looks pretty cool so far. So next up, we've got a few Jokers for comparison. On the extreme left there, we've got the DC Collectibles or DC Direct 2-pack Joker from the Dark Knight Returns um, action figure series. Right next to him, we've got the Suicide Squad Mattel Multiverse Joker. In the middle, we've got the Joker that we're reviewing. On the right, we've got the DC McFarlane Multiverse Joker from Arkham Asylum. And on the extreme right there, we've got the Heath Ledger Joker from DC Multiverse uh, from Mattel, which is like a signature series uh, figure. So, yep, that's... A comparison with all the jokers that i have so next up i've got a very diverse lineup of action figures on the extreme left there we've got the dc universe classics big barda action figure from mattel right next to him we've got the wwe elite series undertaker from mattel as well right next to him we've got the sh figure arts slash figure from justice league in the middle we've got the figure that we're reviewing on the right we've got the hush batman from mafex Right next to the Hush Batman from Mafex, we've got the Marvel Legends Wolverine. And on the extreme right there, we've got the DC Icons Wonder Woman. So in conclusion, I think that this is a pretty good enough action figure from Legend Collections. Uh, this figure does have like a lot of things going for it, especially for the price range. I think it's a good scale figure. The body is uh, versatile enough to hold some poses. And the fabric goods is done pretty well, although it is not the same quality as a Mesco figure. I think for the price price point it definitely does a good job in replacing uh the mesco figure that is way too expensive at this point in time i would definitely recommend if you can pick up the uh original mesco figure or the deluxe version which comes with the overcoat and a bunch of additional accessories but for for what it's worth this is a pretty good figure and i would definitely i think recommend it to people that are looking for like a cheaper alternative and they don't mind losing a little bit of quality um because that's exactly what this is less quality but still a decent enough product to look okay on your shelf that's that's the review guys uh, i hope you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe uh just to help the channel grow a little bit more and i've been absolutely loving all your support so far thank you so much for a lot of views in my last video and i can see that a few of my videos are getting a lot of views so thank you guys so much for that i really appreciate the, appreciate the support and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.